Hi guys, welcome to Thursday, April 16th. Um, this is going to be a pretty short video, though I did want to go back to this video game that I referenced really, really quickly. Um, just because it's so much fun. Um, it's very low tech, It's uh, but I enjoy it. So you can pick easy or hard, um, which really it's all about depending on the how much you want to test yourself on figurative language. So it kind of gives you this like Mario, this Mario like thing. So you can use the little arrows on your keyboard to like jump and hit certain things. And eventually, um, as you get to a certain spot, I think when maybe when you hit a bird, um, it asks you, she was warm as the sun at noon's high hour, so you have to um, give the answer of what kind of sentence this is. This one's a simile, so it uses as, and then you can just continue on. I don't think you're supposed to, oops, so every time you hit a uh, rat too, apparently. The tree lifted her leafy arms to pray, personification. So, I guess to survive, you have to get it right. So, you're trying to avoid these things, but if you do land on them, you have to keep on going. You have to answer this question correctly. So, yeah, it's just a fun little game, which I'm actually having a lot of fun doing. Um, so yeah, you kind of want to avoid it, but at the same time, if you really want to practice, hit them all and see if you can, uh, oops, apparently you cannot jump on a snake. I smell pizza from a mile away. Carefully. So anyway, so yeah, like I said, ooh, I want to see what the alien does. If you run into it. Okay, so if you run into an alien, you also do that. But yeah, so that's just like a fun little game which Mrs. Imlay found, and it's kind of addicting, honestly, um, especially if you love old video games, uh, which is so hard calling that old because I remember playing something like that in the 90s and early 2000s um, when I was a kid, so it's kind of fun to have a computerized version of it. So anyway, you can play that game to practice your figurative language skills. Um, and also, we have that little a uh, little Quizlet link, which I gave you that little um, Quizlet uh, worksheet that has well, not worksheet. It has it's like a reference for, uh, d document. Um, so here is the same words pretty much that were on there, and then you can click to see the definition. But you can also test yourself on that, and you just have to sign up and continue. You can sign up with your Google um, email, Facebook, whatever, um, and then you can test yourself on the words, and if not, you can just, you know, do the flashcards part of it, or without signing up or anything. So, uh, like I said, it's going to be a pretty short video. We're only a few minutes in, and I doubt you want to continue seeing me play that game. Um, so, get some reading done. Obviously, tomorrow we have our third reading log due. So get some reading done, especially if you've been kind of avoiding it. Maybe get a half an hour in just so that you have a good chunk of the story uh, read since the last time you made a reading log uh, so that you have new information to give me. So let's get in though to these sh short stories. Um, usually there's a lot more choices, but the other ELA 11 teachers uh, got together, we all got together, and we discussed that we pretty much wanted to cut it down to only like five options for you guys, just to give you a, an easier time when choosing. Um, and so it's not so overwhelming. Um, so these are the five choices I chose, and you can't see it here, but if you go into present, you can see this more description. So Lamb to the Slaughter by Roald Dahl. He's the author who wrote uh, the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory series. Um, did you know that was a book series? It's a book series, um, not just a movie. And so he wrote that, and a lot of other good books as well, and short stories, and this is one of them. So Lamb to the Slaughter, 
and this gives a nice background of it. I'm not going to go in full depth of it just because I want to keep this video short, but please go into this. It gives you a summary of the short story so you get a nice idea of what it's about, even some of the theme thematic background, just so that you can have go in knowing, hey, this is what it's about, and hopefully one of these catch your interest. And then Indian Education by Sherman Alexie. And then The Mask, Musk, of the Red Death by Edgar Allan Poe, one of my favorite short stories from him. Love Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, I seriously worship the man. I love everything about him and I love all his work. So um, I even have like a painting that I got from an art show uh, of the raven. but And like he's in a, the raven's in a cage and it's nice red background. Anyway, I'll show you a picture of it. Uh, if you want at some point or another. It's down in storage right now because I can't fit everything in my bedroom. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm running out of wall space. I, I love paintings and uh, hanging paintings on my walls. Anyway, so Mask of the Red Death. Uh, Good Man is Hard to Find by Flannery O'Connor. Another great writer who I love and I absolutely love this short story. It's one of my favorites. I've read it so many times since high school, but it was, um, I read it multiple times in college as well. And I think I even did a literary analysis on it when I was in college. Um, so I really do enjoy this story. And then the red convertible is my last choice for you guys to pick from. And it is also a very interesting story. Um, and I think it's very relatable, honestly. It's not one of my, I'm not gonna say it's not one of my favorites, but it's not one I've read a lot. I remember I've read it a couple times, but it's definitely something I think you guys might find very interesting. So you'll also see that all the titles are linked. They'll lead you to the PDF of the story. So also if you're stuck between a couple, maybe look at both of the links, read a couple paragraphs or see how long it is. And if you're like, oh, that one is way too long for me or has way too complicated language, then maybe don't pick it. Um, though I will uh, reference some of these in the future, and if you need any extra help and you're like, I really want to read the story, it looks so interesting, but I'm not really understanding the language, obviously there's um, sites that you can use to that have already analyzed these stories, but you can also use me as a reference, please. Um, Email me, say, hey, Miss McCarthy, can we read through this together? Can you walk me through some of uh, the story, analyze it for me? And we can do a virtual walkthrough together, one-on-one, um, -on -one, just walking you through, and I can give you a starting point. And if you're still uncertain, you're like, I think I know the theme, I th or I think I know the characterization I want to use for the thesis statement, um, but I'm not sure how to form it, again, we can set up a meeting, please. I insist. I miss you guys. Um, I even miss you guys who I haven't officially met yet. And I just want to talk to you guys and make sure that you guys are keeping your head above water and that you guys are doing okay. Um, and you are understanding what I'm saying through these videos. Uh, so that is the video for today. Like I said, I kept it pretty short. I only kept it to one part this time. So that is the video for today. Tomorrow we will go into, um, I want you guys to take today honestly to read and look through the uh, short stories and then I want you to have chosen it by tomorrow and emailing me about which story that you've chosen and just so that I get an idea of who's reading what. And obviously if you read, you choose it and then you read a few paragraphs and you're like, this is not as interesting as I thought it would be. I want to change it. Email me again. Say, Miss McCarthy, I decided I didn't want to do this short story. I want to do this one instead. And you're good to go. I just want to get a list so I know what to expect from you guys. And I know that you guys are watching my videos and um, getting the work that you need to be getting done. And uh, getting the stories cho chosen as quickly as possible so that you can spend time annotating it, reading through, 
and breaking it down into little bits before we actually start the writing process. Okay? Okay. So have a good day. I will see you tomorrow.